So we're in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. I'm with Rajesh Mishra, uh, one of the founders and the CTO of Parallel Wireless. So it's already been an exciting year for, for Parallel. You were uh, at the Super Bowl providing connectivity there. You've been launching new products uh, for rural connectivity and for uh, indoor small cells. Can you just talk us through some of those uh, proof points and launches from the companies? Sure, so it has been fun. Uh, we've been providing, actually we were asked by the public safety agencies to provide the coverage for Super Bowl. Wow. It was, okay. it was really fun, you know, it was an exciting time. And we were only given very short time, not short notice, I should say. Right. It took more time in logistics than really deploying the network. It really was under an hour we were able to provide the coverage. Uh, that's wow. a pu first net public safety LTE coverage uh, in the Super Bowl area. And uh, what we have done for the rural is uh, we have our e uh, which we call them converged wireless systems. They actually get deployed under a few hours and they can work in any backhaul environments, uh, whether it's a non-ideal backhaul or ideal backhaul or even a wireless backhaul. And what they do is they take the backhauls and they can daisy chain with each other and provide the coverage where you need it, when you need it. Okay. And uh, this is actually a very popular solution in the rural communities where you are able to offer these flexible backhauls. And for public safety, um, we are very active in various public safety markets. What we do is, um, with our HetNet gateway actually is the brain behind all of these solutions. So with public safety solution, whether it's instant deployable or we call them our in-vehicle base stations, or even rural, uh, it's the HetNet gateway that's doing all the orchestration, leveraging the self-organization of the network aspect, SON aspect of it, whether it's self-healing aspect of it, with all these different backhauls, we leverage the SDN aspect of it. Okay. And the network function virtualization, which is actually what allows us to do the public safety in rural, but adds on top of it what we do is for our enterprise customers, where we are able to take the, we call them cellular access points, deploy them in anywhere in the building, and they're all cloud managed, where they offer 3G, 4G services, where an IT guy can deploy it. You don't need to certify the technicians. Right to deploy these things. Okay. Uh, the, if your public safety agencies can deploy them, the IT guys can deploy them. That's right. really what we feel. Enterprise connectivity, that's always been a, a really big challenge, but it's also a great opportunity. Can you just talk us through uh, how Parallel Wireless has developed its enterprise capabilities and, and how it differentiates from the market? Sure. So enterprise is actually a challenging market. The reason for challenge is not the technical challenge, it's uh, architecture, you know. What okay. happens is the solutions have been there for last five years, you know, some of the solutions. Obviously the DAS is a very popular solution yes. in today's market and there, ha there has been some enterprise focus uh, small cells. The challenge, what when we looked into this market, the challenge what we faced was most of these solutions were very high price point. So it's a okay. catch-22 situation. If the solution is complex where you need to certify people, to go on site and find a spot where I can deploy here or I can deploy there, okay. it becomes expensive and operators end up paying for it. And then operators are deciding, is there an enough business case for me to be deploying these cells? So what we do is we solve them very differently. With our HetNet gateway sitting in the cloud, we are able to manage these cellular access points where your local IT guy can deploy them just like they deploy the Wi-Fi. Right. And with all the automation from interference mitigation to self-organization to self-configuration, it just makes it very seamless. So you can be a little sloppy in an installation, but it'll all work with the seamless outdoor and indoor okay. coverage and capacity. So this is really one of the challenge we learned and we, we have solved it with our HetNet gateway. And when we talk to operators, they are very excited about the solution because now they see a path where they can offer the enterprise, whether it's a small enterprise or a large enterprise, it seamlessly works. Uh, some of the solutions, when they are so expensive, they don't even consider for a small enterprise, you know? Right, sure. So this solution scales, and this is really a beauty when you embrace the cloud and NFB-based <laughs> architecture. You can scale up or scale down as you need to and how you need to do that, and we take advantage of all those innovations that are happening. 
Okay, that's a very cl clever approach to what has been a long-term issue. Uh, exactly, and but again, you have to go back instead of doing the incremental evolution. What's been happening in the market? You have to step back and see what's the problem I'm trying to solve. Yes. And technology yeah. comes later. The first problem is the capex and opex. If the equipment is expensive, it will never take the scale which you want to do. And so you have to look back and say, how can I help with this thing? And the capex is not only the equipment cost, but the installation, the certification. Sure. A lot of great activity already in 2016, but what's coming up for the rest of the year for Parallel Wireless? Yeah, we're very excited. We have actually a big pipeline of customers. Uh, we are working actively our HeadNet Gateway is actually in about 12 different operators' networks. Okay. Uh, and uh, we are working actively on various engagements, so whether it's an enterprise, whether it's rural, whether it's small cell. Some are coverage related, some are capacity related, some are smart nation related initiatives in certain countries where these units are in mobile platform. Very similar to public safety, it's just they are more focused on providing the coverage LTE, Wi Fi, 3G to uh, moving vehicles like the buses, the trains. Okay. Uh, and uh, of course, we are very active in the public safety community, whether it's uh, US, Europe, and Asia. We are working with various public safety agencies where we actually have a very unique solution. You don't have to build the full network. You can bring your own coverage with our in-vehicle-based solution. Oh, okay. So you bring the coverage where you need it, when you need it, rather than build a tower and someday you may use it okay. in a public safety scenario. It's a very easy way for public safety agencies to provide full coverage with a very minimal cost because the base station is with you. Right, right. Yeah, it's a, it's a very different, again, it's, we call it reimagining. Right. In a traditional okay. model, you would be building big towers everywhere, trying to cover every square inch. And as you know, it's just a very expensive and impossible thing to do. And what we do is we still provide the coverage every inch where you need, when you need it, because it's with you. And it's just a very different way of solving the problem. A truly mobile solution. True, truly <laughs> mobile solution. And this is where the HetNet gateway really shines. Uh, what we, we, we joke about is if it can solve the mobile base station, it can definitely solve the enterprise. Right. Where you know, in a mobile, multiple cars can come together. You have to solve the interference problem. Well, good luck with the rest of the year. Very exciting already. And I'm sure we'll talk again next year to find out what's coming even further in the future. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for having me.